so I'm like sitting down to film this intro because I feel like the last week of my life has been kind of crazy. I've been traveling a lot more, which I go through phases with what I do on YouTube and Byron and everything that we do that like sometimes we travel and sometimes we're home a lot. The last few weeks I've been traveling and I'm gonna continue kind of traveling more throughout the summer. Uh, mostly for work, we also went to Lake Tahoe and we took Oliver and we went to go visit um, Byron's brother and we had a really good time in Lake Tahoe so I had to pack for that and then I came home and then I was home for a few days and then I had to go to Chicago I have a photo I had a photo shoot in Chicago and then Byron and I were speaking on a panel in Cincinnati so for today's video I'm gonna share with you guys my travel essentials what I like to pack now obviously depending on kind of where you're going what your trip looks like you may not be packing exactly like I'm packing you may be going on a family vacation you may be going somewhere by yourself you may be going on a work trip you may have to pack for three kids. I mean, I'm not sure what your situation is, but I did want to share some of my tips and tricks for traveling. So I'm going to show you guys what I packed for myself, what I packed for Oliver and my travel essentials. So yeah, let's jump right in. So for my carry-on essentials, uh, it kind of depends on where I'm going and what I'm doing, but I do love to have the heated eye masks um, that smell like lavender. I use those at home, but they're perfect for on a plane if I think I'm going to get a chance to take a nap. And then also earplugs are perfect. So obviously depending on if I have my son with me or not, if I think I can sleep, I'll always bring those too. Lip balm and hydrating facial lotion are definitely something I stick in there. The smaller size is under three ounces. Um, because it can be very drying on an airplane and just in case your bags get lost. I also have makeup removing wipes and body cleansing wipes. I have antibacterial hand wipes, eye drops, mouthwash, hand cream, and uh, a little water spritzer. I also threw in the Honest uh, hand sanitizing spray, which is really quick and easy. And then toothpaste and a toothbrush for me and Byron from the drugstore. The after coffee mints from Starbucks, which are really strong. Anti-motion sickness, because I get motion sickness. And solid perfume. I always feel kind of smelly when I get off airplanes, so I like to have a solid perfume, which is much easier to travel with than traditional perfume. And a hairbrush. So I pack all of this together. Just in case I lose my baggage or you have a layover, it's great to have these things. I use a lot of them on the the airplane. I also love to travel with my own tea just in case I'm in the airport or I can ask for hot water on the airplane so I always put that in my carry-on bag and uh, yeah I mean I won't always use everything on the airplane but depending on how long your flight is if you have a layover it's nice to kind of have these things it's really drying on the airplane so I tend to really use hand cream a lot and hand sanitizing spray if I think I'm gonna sleep a head pillow is definitely important to have these eye masks are something I started using not too long ago um, probably Probably in the last two years they warm up and they just smell like lavender only in your facial area so you're not disturbing anybody but it just sends me right to sleep and I love it and then when they try to wake me up and ask me if I want like a soda I always just ask for hot water and brew my favorite tea so it makes the plane ride definitely more enjoyable and so those are my carry-on essentials I also have a few technology must-haves for my carry-on. One of them is my iPad because I collect books and magazines. It's also a great way to kind of store entertainment for kids or for yourself. Um, and then I have my Halo, which charges my iPhone, my iPad, or my computer on the run, which is great just in case you run out of batteries. It's like an extra source of battery. I have my in-case headphones and then an extra pair of Apple headphones because Byron was traveling with me on this trip. And then our phone charger. I got these little zip ties that open really easily so they're not permanent there's like a little button that opens them and it's just a great way to kind of keep the cords from getting tangled and I throw all of that in my purse and then if I'm traveling all by myself I bring my MacBook but this time Byron brought a Mac for the both of us in his backpack and so yeah I try to keep it pretty simple because traveling is complicated as it is so if you know if I just bring the minimum amount and I either sleep or read I actually read girl boss on this last trip and I read the entire book so it was really good I definitely would recommend it if you have a chance to read that book it's definitely inspiring now for the bag that I'm gonna be checking that's my toiletry must-haves I do like to pack um, some traditional cleanser I keep that in the shower at the hotel and I have this like little squeezy bottle I got from Target and I just fill it up with my my favorite wash whatever I'm using at the moment a great tip is to put saran wrap between the bottom and the top of whatever container you're using. This is going to really prevent spillage. So I highly recommend it um, for any containers that you're using. I always bring a um, painkiller. I actually should probably bring that on my carry-on. Um, ear swabs, some vitamins and floss, some sunscreen, face wipes, uh, tampons just in case, 
and um, a Venus razor, just the little baby one you can get at Target, because yes, I still do shave. I have deodorant and some little travel size uh, facial oil and eye cream, and then a sewing kit. Beyond the traditional hygiene items, I always like to assess what I'm gonna be doing on the trip. If you're gonna be going to a fancy dinner or you need to get extra dressed up, it's important to remember you know, your hot tools, your favorite makeup, your favorite skincare. But again, it totally depends on where you're going and you just kind of have to assess your own personal trip. You know, when we were in Tahoe, I didn't bring very much makeup because I didn't. I was just hanging out with my family. I didn't need lots of makeup. Um, but on this trip, I was going to be going out to fancy dinner, so I did bring makeup, so it kind of just depends I put everything in a Ziploc bag and then I store it in my um, little toiletries bag, my large toiletries bag. When packing my outfits, I always try to look at what I'm gonna be doing. So obviously the traveling days, I bring something really warm, a jacket, my Boda jacket keeps me warm. Airplanes are always freezing, so I have to have some sort of jacket, comfortable shoes, leggings, or a comfortable pair of jeans, a simple cotton t-shirt, a vest is a great way to kind of layer, a scarf, it, you know, I get freezing on airplanes, so comfortable shoes, you know, I, I pack two outfits for the traveling days. And then um, I always try to bring something kind of more dressed up, I also pack, really casual miscellaneous items, an extra pair of jeans, a top, a sweater, um, things that I can mix and match so that on the casual days I have a few different options. And then you just wanna count the days that you're gonna be gone. I put all of my shoes that match the various outfits that I picked out in shoe bags that I bought from the dollar store, put my toiletries in there, um, folded up my vests. I always take advantage of um, the little seat belt for your suitcase because if your luggage accidentally does get opened, everything doesn't fly everywhere, so that's important. My jeans and leggings are going to go on in there along with my dress and it's kind of like a puzzle. You're just going to kind of put everything where you can, where it fits and just try not to overpack if you can. So that's where outfit planning is great and having just a few different options. Um, for my jewelry and delicates, um, I usually just pack whatever I absolutely think I'm going to wear for jewelry. I don't want to overpack jewelry because I'm not a huge jewelry wearer, so I only pack my um, you know, for my dressed up items. And then for delicates, I like to have washable mesh bags. You can find these at Nordstrom's or at the dollar store. They're great to put your underwear in there and you can just throw them in the washer when you get back. So that's great. I also like to put dryer sheets in my suitcase so it smells good and I zip it up and it is all ready to go. So I obviously have to pack for my son. Um, if it's work, he'll stay with my mom or my sister-in-law and his two cousins. Um, if it's a family trip, obviously I pack for him and he comes with us. So I pack very similarly for both. Um, I have a nice big giant bag for him. I've been using the MZ Wallace bag. I pack enough jammies for the amount of nights that we're gonna be gone, plus an extra pair just in case he wets through them. I pack lots of mix and match clothes so there's enough for whether the weather is warm or it gets cold. Um, he can mix and match and have an outfit for every single day. I have shoes, I have obviously his sippy cups, his bottles, um, all of his favorite toys, his favorite books, stuffed animals. If he's with us, we'll have the pack and play and obviously the stroller and all that. If he's going to my mom's or my sister-in-law's house, I make sure that I have everything for his bath time and just everything he will need a full, I bring a full thing of diapers so they don't have to worry about it, all his favorite snacks. And I set everything out and I'm usually ready by the next day. Oliver still has two more bags with the snacks and everything I bring um, with me too. But yeah, that pretty much sums it up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna do a full kids episode of just how I pack for Oliver because that alone could create a video. So subscribe and thumbs up if you like this video. Check out my last two and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.